Hello everyone, my name is Murray the Hedgehog. Welcome to Creepy Pastas Volume 1. This is a full-on new series where I tell you creepy pastas. Today's episode is Sonic.exe. I hope you're ready because we're going on a spooky adventure. Here we go. <clears throat> I'm not a huge Sonic fan. I mean, I was but until, you know, a certain game that came in my mail. I was playing Sonic Unleashed until, with the corner of my eye, the mailman came. I went downstairs and opened the mailbox to find a letter and a CD. I read the letter first. It's from my f it's from my best friend, and he told me to destroy this disc, otherwise he will come. I don't know who this he is, but I do know I am a big Sonic fan. I played Sonic my entire life, so I have to, it has to be good. I went upstairs to my room, popped the game in, and. To my surprise, it was Sonic the Hedgehog 1. When I heard that jingle, I was happy. I was like, nah, this is good. But, like, a few minutes in, but, like, like one frame, the title screen was different. The sky was dark. The water was red like blood. The Sonic, the Sega 1999 has changed to Sega 666. And Sonic's ring looked distorted and dirty. But what creeped me out the most was Sonic's eyes. They were pitch black with blood underneath them and red eyes staring right at me. It then cut to the to a player select screen from Sonic 3. I only saw three characters, Sonic, Tails, and, surprisingly, Eggman. How can you play as Eggman in a classic Sonic game? So, I picked Tails, because Eggman and Knuckles were locked. So, I pressed it, and like, a couple minutes later, I heard the a classic laugh, like, Kafka laugh from that one video game I can't remember the name of. Anyways, it says Hill Act 1, and I was playing as Tails in Green Hill. I ran through Green Hill, thinking it was normal, but a couple minutes later, I, I found something that creeped me out. What I saw was a Flicky dead on the ground with its spine ripped out. A couple of more, I seen another, and another, and another. It was creeping me out, and Tails was feeling scared. A couple of minutes later, the, the critters were gone, and the trees were gone as well. The plants and the flowers were gone. But after that, I see Sonic. Tails walked up to him. I wasn't even touching my controller at the point. But then it cut to... Hello, want to play a game? And it now said hide and seek. Tails was pointing to a direction, telling me that he wants to get out. So I pressed the, the analog stick as hard as I can to the right and started running. It didn't happen for much long until I heard that laugh again. It kept coming and coming and coming. It just wouldn't stop. Tails was running. Sonic was right behind him. But, the, but he wasn't running. He was flying. The flying animation was taking like Metal Sonic's animation, for, like in Sonic CD. But his Tails was caught. Sonic appeared behind Tails. Actually, no, right in front of him. And then killed him right there on the spot. A big scream happened for like five seconds. Until Sonic actually said, you're too slow. I want to try again. And now Tails was locked. He wasn't there in the locked screen. He was up in the monitor box where usually the levels would be. Tails was gray with blood underneath his eyes. I played his knuckles next, thinking everything would be normal. Then it said, you can't run. Knuc I was playing as Knuckles, who was actually my favorite Sonic character at the time. I loved Knuckles when I was young. Anyways, back to the story. I... Went through, and to my surprise, static happened once, then twice, then three, and then on the third time, blood was everywhere. On the ground, on the side of the walls, it was just creepy, and the sky was red as well. Knuckles saw Sonic and decided to fight him, like in Sonic, like in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Knuckles was fighting Sonic, but Sonic was too quick for him. 
and then Knuckles died. And then Sonic laughed again. I still hear it to this day. After that, Eggman was left. I clicked on Eggman. The final act was called dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to do that joke. Anyways, what happened after that was kind of creepy. I saw something that creeped me out. It was a new zone I haven't even been in. Eggman was scared, looking like he was about to pee himself. But I paused the game and went for a nap. I took a nap, but I still had nightmares to this day. I woke back up and decided to continue playing. I was playing as Eggman, went down the stairs, and there was Sonic. Standing there. And then Sonic went behind Eggman, and then game over. And then they cut to black and showed text in white saying, Ready for round two? It showed Sonic in in the dark, only his face being shown and his body covered by the dark. It flickered once, then twice, and on the third time, it was red. And Sonic looked realistic, actually. If you could feel his screen, feel my screen right now, it would be amazing. Feeling the fur? Oh, loved that. But I didn't love it. He was staring at me. It said, I am God at the top. And the screen turned off. I was pressing it multiple times, seeing if I could get it to budge. But what happened after that? I heard a voice so clear, it was right behind me. Let's keep this a secret between us, kid. I turned around and see Sonic from the game looking at me. I heard you're a fan of me. Want me to have you for lunch? I screamed, but I managed to put him back in the screen and get the disc out. I grabbed the disc, started bending it with all my might, and snapped it. I fixed the tape, put it back in, and it was Sonic. After that, I continued playing the original Sonic. But then, I got a call from my best friend. I answered the phone, and to my surprise, he was alive. How did you do that? I stayed quiet. (laughs) Don't worry about it, man. I saved you. That's the only thing that matters. After that, I looked out the window and saw a man in a black suit and tie with a pale white face. I closed the blinds, and what I remember now is that my journey was not over. And that was Sonic.exe, and next time will be Slender Man. But mine will be my own original version of Slender Man, so you'll be enjoying that. So, I hope to see you all next time, and uh, after that, we'll be doing Mr. Widemouth after Slender Man. Let me know if you guys want me to do more of these spin-off creepy videos. Have a nice day, and I'll see you all next time in the next episode of Creepypasta. See you next time, and stay spooky.